What's up, guys? I'm exhausted, but the show must go on, so I'm going to show you guys two lunches. This first one is going to be, like, simple, quick, where I didn't have time to make bread, and then the second lunch is going to be with the bread. Uh, so it's about uh, 4 o'clock. Usually I'll get home between 3 and 5, and, and that's when I'll eat my lunch. Uh, so let me show you guys what is in the kitchen right now. So before I left for work, I set my Yum Asia rice cooker with one cup of rice in there so it's been ready for like two and a half hours uh, this is really nice and convenient we just use the glass bottle of mountain valley mineral water two cups of mineral water one cup of the organic basmati white rice this is available on frankiestrangefoods.com and that was in there sometimes i'll make quinoa the white quinoa but i, I really do uh, i really do prefer the rice over it the only issue is i i need beans i try to make uh, beans once or twice a week, but since I don't have this rice meal regularly, uh, you know, the beans go bad in the fridge, so I just brought home a can of the, or, or jar of the Jovial Organic Killing Beans, so we're going to have beans with the rice, and normally I would bring home roast beef, but you guys ate all the roast beef. You guys bought all my roast beef this week, so now I have to actually cook something for lunch, which I'm not too happy about. In our protein source for lunch dilemma, we have three options. We have... Iberico ground tenderloin. I brought home a, a Wagyu tenderloin yesterday in my frustration of you guys buying all the roast beef. And then we got some beef stock concentrate. Uh, I haven't had this jardinier yet. I really want to put it in a sandwich. Um, but the reason I'm bringing this up is because uh, the pickles and the sauerkraut should be ready now on the foods website. So we're going to have garlic dill pickles and regular sea salt sauerkraut. Oh, Here's an old steak that I should probably throw out. Oh well, we'll have the Wagyu tenderloin. Probably a little fattier than I usually have, but. And then over here, uh, this is what we left breakfast. So this towel needs to get washed, so we'll put that over there. I didn't have the apple for breakfast, so we, we kind of saved it for lunch. We got our kefir grains ready. Uh, we're gonna use the same cup for the water kefir and well, that's another bottle of water, kefir and water. So sometimes what I'll actually do is, since we had half of this bottle for breakfast, I'll actually pour the water in there instead of mixing in the glass. It doesn't really matter. I'm all over the place. But the point is I mix half water and half water kefir, and then we'll have two tablespoons of water kefir grains per meal. We have the apple is already ready. So basically the only thing we have to do for lunch is to sear that Wagyu tenderloin. And if I had the roast beef, I'd probably be eating already. Everything would be... Uh, would be good to go ready. So for this Wagyu tenderloin, I'm just gonna pat the outside dry. We got some pure ocean salt from Frankie's Street Range Meat. This is actually a pretty big steak. I'll probably save half of this for tomorrow. And we just got a little bit of oil in the pan. So I'll let this heat up for a second. I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna cut this this tenderloin in half and I'll save half for tomorrow. So while that's going, we got our rice situation over here. I'm gonna put a, oh, that was too much. Maybe a teaspoon of oil in there. A little hard to be dexterous holding my camera. So we just put a little water and a little oil in the rice and then we're gonna mix it up. Usually I try to time it so the rice is only like sitting in the rice cooker for an hour or less, but today we got a little busy at work and I stayed down there longer than I thought I would. So this rice is ready. I'm just gonna unplug it. And the beans, uh, I'm just gonna drain them and rinse them with bottled mineral water. The, uh, you get a nice crust when you pat the outside dry like that. So we got our jar of beans in the sink and I'm basically schizophrenic, so I'm gonna rinse these with a dollar worth of water. Our steak is probably raw on the inside, but I don't have the patience to cook this today. I just want to eat my lunch and relax and down. So now we got the pan that we cook the steak in. Shake our 75 cents worth of water off our beans. And then these go right in that oil. So well, the beans are not salted, but put a little bit of salt on them. I don't even, I don't even put these back on the heat. I just 
let them sit in the hot pan with the the oil. If the beans were coming out of the fridge, then I would uh, I would need to heat them. You guys like my cleaning ability? I'm, everything's a mess, dude. Yeah, like I haven't slept in a week, so things fall behind, to say the least. All right, so we're gonna put the beans in a bowl separately so that I can just throw them in the fridge afterwards because this is like three meals worth of beans. So now we're just taking the rice out of the rice cooker. I'm so fucking over it, guys. I'm exhausted. I haven't had a day off in like seven fucking years. I got 19 fucking things in front of me to do because my liver's fried. This is so stupid. You guys think I enjoy working all day to come home and do the 19? All right, I'll stop complaining. So we're taking zinc with lunch and I did some shorts uh, last week. We have the, oh, it's over there. But it's over there in the box. I got to send it to my camera buddy, Rio, to take a picture of it. But uh, we have the mastic available in capsules now. I'm still going to have the powder with this meal because I like having the powder with the meals if I can. But if you're on the go, if you're traveling, if you don't want to grind it into powder, we have the mastic available in capsules now. I need a knife for my steak. So we're going to pour half water kefir and then half water into our glass. So water kefir, probiotic, high in B vitamins, helps digest and break down the carbohydrates and prevent candida overgrowth. I, I really kind of needed to sleep at this point. We combine it with the water kefir grains uh, for more diverse probiotics and more powerful digestive aid, both available on frankiescrewagefoods.com. Uh, the organ supplements, guys, the zinc and the massive powder is available on organsupplements.com. Did I say the water kefir's on Frankie Strange Foods? I don't know, my brain's fried. The point is water kefir, frankiestrangefoods.com, as, as well as the, the rice, the beans. You guys can get that on the foods website too. And of course the steak is on the meat website. And then the Honeycrisp apples can be obtained at your local grocer at your own risk. Quality control on the apples is difficult. So to start the meal, we're gonna have two tablespoons of water kefir grains. Wah, down, look, 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 look. I was reading a comment, uh, someone was saying like they get brain fog and stuff from water keeper. It's usually candy to die off. So you might want to be careful with mastic and try to reduce the amount of candida in your stomach before doing water keeper, water keeper grains. So, yeah, this, this tenderloin, guys, is like, it's completely raw, but we're hungry and impatient. Yeah, this, this wagyu tenderloin is probably the best piece of meat I've ever had, so. The last day of eating we had it, I think I said the same thing. I'm not that hungry now, but... I'm really hungry. I feel like I could like wolf this whole plate of rice in like a minute. But you need some fiber to break up all that rice. These beans are really nice. When I cook them myself, they don't usually turn out as good. I don't know how they do that, but. The beans are like whole and cooked very evenly throughout and they have a soft creamy texture. Definitely way better than I get in my Instant Pot. I like white rice a lot. I just get worried about the arsenic. Although it's probably not that big of a deal. I'm gonna have my two zinc pills. And the reason we're taking zinc is because I found out my copper levels were high I should probably do a video on that, but some of you guys are saying like, oh, Frank, you shouldn't have supplements with all that copper and stuff. I don't think I took copper supplements more than 10 days in my entire life. Um, I noticed the symptoms getting worse when I was having 
cream of mushrooms. I was making like a homemade cream of mushroom soup every day with like a ton of shiitake mushrooms. And that's when I noticed the symptoms getting bad. And I was like, is the copper in mushrooms really that bioavailable? And lo and behold, it was. So the combination of me not eating as much meat and eating an insane amount of shiitake mushrooms caused uh, very high copper levels. So that's why we're taking zinc now. Like I'll still have, you know, mushrooms in the barley soup and stuff, but I was eating like basically pureed shiitake mushrooms by the cupful, which is a bad idea. It's very delicious. As long as you take zinc with the meal, even if there's copper in the meal, the zinc's gonna kinda help prevent the imbalance. So like it's perfectly fine to eat a lot of mushrooms as long as you have zinc with the meal in the form of a supplement because now I'm telling you guys, these beans, I don't know why I don't have those jar beans more often. Because we also have, uh, I have a big bag over here, big 25 pound bag of beans. I'm not sure. Something lazy cost. We have a big 25 pound bag of beans on the foods website too, but those, uh, those jarred beans are, they cook them really well with whatever manufacturing process they have. I got some more blood work yesterday, waiting on the results to see if my copper and ceruloplasm are still elevated. I've told you guys before, like, I don't actually like eating, I'm usually not hungry, but if I go six, seven hours, I'll start getting headaches or like I'm not feeling so good because my liver. But um, I don't know, for some reason, I can keep eating because it's taking me so long to, to chew everything. Yeah, because what can end up happening is if you have too much candida in your stomach and the water key from water key for grains, like if you take a lot of them, it might be enough to kill off the candida. But if it isn't, then you have the brain fog and you're not gonna feel so good. But also you can't like, you have to follow this diet. Like you can't be carnivore and drinking water kefir. It's not gonna work any carbs and fiber in the diet. It's like rice digests so fast. Even though I'm a little full, I just wanna make sure like, I'm full, full. I don't know why. I could like, I could just eat rice until I turn Japanese and explode into a sumo wrestler. All right, well, that's all right. So now we have our. Pine crisp apple for dessert. The apple helps kind of like clean the starch off my teeth sometimes and I'll swish around my mouth with the water kefir as I'm eating the apple. All right, so another glass of water kefir and half of the apple. Now I'm gonna have about a teaspoon of masticum. So the reason masticum is so effective and the reason I've been using it for so many years is the upper part of the digestive tract where the liver's primary function is, where your stomach turns and transitions to the small intestine, that's basically where like the, the bile duct is and where like your liver's connected. So that area right outside of the stomach in that upper small intestine is where like so much stuff happens, like the bile gets released, there's a lot of absorption and release. So when I take masticum, it actually pushes food away from that spot, which is good because if toxic bile is being released in the beginning of my small intestine, you know, I don't want it to sit there 
and be reabsorbed into the liver and, and be reabsorbed that early up. So because the mastic powder, um, it stays a powder for a little while and then as it churns in the digestive system, it turns into a ball, the masticum in a way pushes the food out of the stomach through the upper small intestine and then the rest of digestion, it turns into a ball and then you digest food normally. So it's a very, very interesting and special product that, that it works perfectly in that way. Um, you know, because if you try to, the only other way you'd be able to do something like that is maybe maybe hydrate a lot, try to eat extra fiber. It, it's it's very difficult to to bypass liver damage without masticum. Um, anyway, uh, I'll show you guys the the next lunch, I guess. All right, guys, lunch number two. Not much prep to show you guys because everything's pretty much done already, but we do have to like assemble the lunch. On my mess of a countertop, we have our loaf of bread wrapped up in a towel. So this I'm just gonna slice up. Over here in the fridge, we have our white bean puree. I'm just gonna take a couple of scoops and put that in a bowl. And then we have our leftover ham from yesterday. We had half of it for lunch so we're gonna have the other half today i'm just gonna probably trim a little bit of fat off of this and slice it up and put it on a plate and that's gonna be lunch ham bread and white bean puree all right guys i don't really feel like chatting today but i will explain every component of the meal so our lunch is bread ham and white bean puree this is the ham from the local pork share corn and soy free pork that was just smoked lightly. Very, very delicious. Homemade bread made with the instant yeast. We did the recipe last weekend, if you guys want the recipe for that. And then we have the white bean puree, which is the white beans, the artichokes, a little bit of coconut oil and some salt. And also we put some collagen broth in the, in the white bean puree for some more amino acids and some protein. So we have a lot of protein, fiber, starch, carbs, energy, feed the gut bacteria. This has been the base of all of my meals for a few years now, and it's really the base of basically any sort of healthy group of people that has ever existed throughout all of human history. For food, we have the honey crisp apple for dessert, everything else I would consider a supplement or probiotic. So as usual, we have a glass of water kefir, which is half water kefir and half water to dilute it because it is very potent. We have a bowl of water kefir grains. We're gonna do a few tablespoons of water kefir grains with the meal to help digest the carbs. Supplement wise, I'm taking a vitamin B1 capsule. In the morning, I usually take B complex and B1 or I'll take two vitamin B1. And the reason I'm taking B1 is because if you look at the B vitamin difference between whole grains and refined grains, what happens is all the B vitamins get slightly reduced, but vitamin B1 thiamine is greatly reduced. Uh, so by having white bread and supplementing B vitamins, it's basically like eating whole grains and whole grains are kind of gross. I don't really like whole wheat. I don't really like the whole grains, but the white bread I do like a lot. And just by supplementing the B vitamins, you're able to offset the negatives of the reduction of B vitamins in the refined grains. So you want to supplement basically B complex and B1. We do have all the B vitamins available on organ supplements, but it can be kind of tricky. Like maybe there's a few B vitamins that you would want to omit, but then you'd be taking like B1, B2, B5, B6, B7, B9. Like maybe you'd want to omit B12 and B3. But it's 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 really it gets really confusing when you start separating B vitamins. So that's why I just take B1 and B complex, which we both have on organ supplements in addition to the mastic gum. So the mastic gum I'll take just like half a teaspoon at the end of the meal. And I think I showed you guys a few times last week. We have the mastic capsules which have gone missing from my table, but the mastic gum is now available in uh, in the capsules as well so you guys don't have to grind it up into a powder and stuff oh i put it in the i put it in the box we need to send it to rio to take pictures of it for the website that's where the mastic gum went 
But that's gonna be my lunch for today. This ham, guys, the ham with a piece of bread, really, really delicious. I've really been enjoying it. And when you have super high quality ingredients, you, know, you can keep it simple and it, it still tastes good. Granted, it was you know prepared properly and there's a little salt in it. But uh, that should be it for lunch. Everything you guys see here is available on Frankie's Free Range Meat or Frankie's Free Range Foods or organ supplements with the exception of <laughs> the Honey Crisp Apple, which is kind of funny. You can literally make all of this with uh, what we have available on the on the uh, the website. So you know something about all my businesses is really just trying to provide you guys with affordable and high quality versions of what I, I do my I do myself to improve my own health. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed me showing you like the two variations of lunch that I've been doing. Uh, I've really been enjoying the ham. I mean I'm Italian, so I like I like pork more than beef. Um, but usually I will have roast beef in the place of the ham. But th this is really my typical, typical lunch. Like that white rice and beans meal you guys saw is like, if I didn't have time to make bread. I 100% prefer this meal instead, but just some days I, I can only use the rice cooker because like, I just, again, I just don't have time to make the bread. But uh, on occasion, most of the time I don't, but sometimes I'll just have the bread with the white bean puree. But usually I wanna have a little bit of protein in the meal as well. And the, the vitamin B1, B vitamin supplementation has been very important uh, because you know not only are the grains depleted of B vitamins when you refine them, uh, what happens is like the liver stress, the toxicity from the past diet, there's other modern factors that can deplete B vitamins and make it difficult um, on the body to get everything naturally from food. So, you know, if, if it wasn't for my research and understanding of all these different supplements and minerals, it basically would have been impossible for me to get better. Because it's, 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 it's always something, you know, it's, it's difficult to stay on top of things. You know, j this year we've had issues with zinc and just recently forgotten B1. So you really have to try to stay on top of stuff and be mindful of everything throughout the health journey. And hopefully it's only a few more years where we just feel a lot better in general. I'm, I'm also I'm also eating a, a lot. Of, like I, I can reduce my portion size, which might have taken some stress off of off of the B vitamin load. But uh, that's going to be it. I'm going to sit down and enjoy my lunch and uh, maybe try to relax a little bit. So we show you guys dinner maybe two weeks ago. We're showing you guys both variations of lunch now. And uh, and then I'll show you guys, maybe we'll do two breakfasts. I think we'll do two breakfasts. So maybe we'll do that next week or maybe I'll just do like a little cheat meal for you guys next week. I wanna like sit down and have like a ham sandwich with maybe the potato chips and it's not really a cheat meal because we're using all my high quality stuff. Uh, but maybe we'll have potato chips and then we'll have some of the organic lacto-fermented pickled uh, vegetables and stuff. Maybe we'll do that video next week. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, but I'll see you guys soon. As I said, all the websites, you guys can get everything. frank .com. Everything is listed and available. See you guys soon.